Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're doing well. Having a really great day in this video. I'm going to be turning on all of my RTX 3070 rigs. I have four of them here and they are all filled up. Eight of them in an Octominer X8 Ultra. And today I am going to be turning them on to mine Ergo because as a recording, Ergo has just passed EIP 37. Basically what that means is the difficulty for Ergo is gonna start coming down and as of recording I think it already has and so the blocks are getting faster thus that means profitability is really nice right now but by the time you guys see this video I'm gonna assume that there's gonna be other people or a lot of people a lot of you guys are probably already turning on already and uh, you notice the profitability is probably hasn't really updated yet on what to mine but it's probably not gonna be profitable per se after I think another week or so but I think this is great. Ergo is now going to be a little bit better in terms of the difficulty issue that they were having and as well as a lot of hash rate that was on the network or can now be back on Ergo now in a sense. So guys, I have to get PDU cables which I just brought here. I'm going to be turning on also two of my RTX A2000 rigs. So one of them is 12 modded A2000s and then I have another one here that is a stock A2000s and these are both six gigabyte cards. So I will show you guys the power consumption exactly at the wall here at the 240 volt 30 amp PDU. Right now I got nothing on this PDU and then I'm going to put the 3070s on this PDU uh, which right now it shows 0.16 amp and that is because of my network switch only. So we're gonna see how much power these four 37E rigs take and the two A2000 rigs on Ergo. So before we do that guys, this video is sponsored by Established in 2017, OctoMiner is an international mining hardware company. They manufacture and engineer the best mining equipment in the industry and supply rigs to some of the largest mining farms around the world. Their GPU mining rigs also integrate with the top crypto operating systems like HiveOS, MinerStat, and Simple Mining. All parts come with an international one-year warranty. Exciting news! They will be adding ASIC miners for sale to their website soon and launching a new product built specifically for ASIC home miners. Please visit octominer.com or email support at octominer.com for questions. Okay, we are plugging in all the ethernet cables first. And thank you to infinitecables.com. They sent me a bunch of Cat6 network cables, six footers. And I'm actually still waiting for another order that I did with them for splitters, C13 to C14. So two ends go here into one cable so that I don't have to utilize all eight of the only ports I have on this 240 volt 30 amp PDU, which is unfortunate, but yeah, that's okay. These are all 3070s anyway, as uh, yeah, they won't take too much power. So we should be good there in that regard. Okay, let me plug in all of these uh, right here. Network cables are going in and I think these are a little bit too long could have probably cable managed this a lot better in a sense. Yeah, I can cable manage this. Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Okay, so network cables are in. Now I need to plug in the C13, C14 cables and then uh, I will power them on. Let's go. Alright, so I decided to run just one 1200 watt PSU for eight 3070s. Not recommended, but I trust HiveOS to keep the overclocks uh, for Ergo, but uh, we're going to see because I've also heard that uh, there may be potentially some power spike going on with Ergo depending on what GPUs or what uh, mining software being used. So I'm risking it here and I just want to see if this will work or not as because I actually, I was not able to plug all eight in because I only had three C13 ports left. 
all right, because my switch is on this last one here. So I only have three, then I'd only be able to plug in three of the OctoMiners, but in this case, we're fine. So let me go ahead and uh, set up the Hive OS here. Give me one sec. All right, these rigs are on. Yes, okay, so they're mining Ergo now. And uh, these four 3070 rigs, I'll show you on the screen here. So I actually have two of them that are using the P0 state. So I'm doing 1250 core and 2100 memory with P0 state in Hive OS. And then I have the other two 3070 rigs that are doing 1250 core but 2500 memory and uh, no power limit, nothing, right? It's using absolute core clock. And so what I found is I think I'm saving a little bit more power going P0 state in Hive OS rather than not doing P0 state. So I think I should move over the other two rigs to P0 state and see if I save some power. And so actually I'm gonna show on the screen here of the other two rigs that are not on P0 state. We'll take note of the power consumption and then I'll do a test here shortly. So, but combining all four rigs, we are using 15.72 amps. All right, so you guys can times this number to 35 volt times 15.7 amps. That's how much watts I am using for these four rigs, okay? So I think they're all under 900 watts or 950 watts according to Hive OS, but I'm curious to know if these two 3070 rigs that are not on P0 state are going to lower in power consumption. So you guys see the numbers here real quick. Let me turn them to P0 state right now. Okay, so we were at 15.7. Now I've moved these two, uh, one of these, uh, these two 3070 rigs to the P0 state option in the overclock settings for all the GPUs for these two rigs. I'll show on the screen here the differences, okay, you guys can see, but they're the same fan speeds on the front fans, also the GPUs as well, and you guys can see the difference there. So I think we're saving about uh, from 975 to like 950. And then the other rig was like 930, I think, or 950 to 930. I'm not quite sure, but you can see the difference here. We're at 15.7 amps and now we're at 15.5. So that tells me that we are saving a little bit more power by going P0 state with having the same hash rate on Ergo and you know using 1250 core and then 2100 memory and yeah, so that seems to work just great. I think P0 state is pretty good, guys. Let me know what you think down below. Does this look good or what? I just love having 3070s on right now. You know, lean, most one of the most generally efficient GPUs for mining 3070s. And of course now, I have to turn on my A2000s. These are gonna be even more efficient, I believe, than my 3070s, I think, I think. Uh, we're gonna do some comparisons here in a second. So let me go ahead and plug in the power for these and I'm gonna put it on its own 240 volt 30 amp PDU here. Okay, so I'll be right back and uh, I'll show you guys the hash rate. Okay, so the A2000 rigs are on. I have set up the overclock settings for both already and uh, as, as efficient as I could. And so here is the power for both of them combined at uh, 238 volts, uh, 230, almost 239, at, uh, at about 8.2 amps, 8.20 amps for both. So let me show you the Hive OS settings for the modded A2000 rig. Okay, so I'm using, let's say, 175 core, 3500 memory, that's it. I'm not using P0 state or anything like that. And the whole rig, I think, is taking about 1,276 or 78 mega hash. And uh, the power at the wall is, I think, 1,050 or something. So, yeah, this rig is, is doing okay. The modded A2000s are okay. And I believe the efficiency is roughly the same as a 3070 rig at about 1.2 uh, hash per watt. Now, my stock A2000s, okay, 12 by A2000 rig, is using 150 core minus 1004 and then 64 PL. This is a number I kind of worked around with from Kiwi Crypto Miner. He had a YouTube video about that and you guys should go subscribe to him, link down below. I followed his settings roughly and uh, able to get about, I think 98 mega hash at about 64 watts. So the whole rig I think is about 900 watts 
for about 1,177 mega hash. And so the efficiency there, I think, is 1.3 mega hash per watt. All right, so that is the most efficient rig I have here on Ergo, okay, the stock A2000s. The modded A2000s, not so much. Oh, it's, it's the same efficiency roughly as my 3070s, okay? So yeah, about 1.2 uh, mega hash, uh, hash per watt there. Okay, so guys, there we go. That's it, all my rigs are on. I can't wait to get shorter cables. I'm gonna be cable managing everything once I get the uh, infinite cables in. So yeah, for now it's just gonna look like this. But guys, let me know your thoughts of uh, what you guys just saw here and the power consumptions and the overclock settings that I showed you guys for my A2000s and 3070 rigs, okay? I think this is, uh, this is good for now that I'm gonna be turning on. I'm not gonna be turning on my, you know, uh, let's see, my 3080s or 3090s just yet. I just wanted to run lean and yeah efficient that's that's what i want to do so far all right as of right now but i'm assuming once everyone you guys are probably watching this video or we're gonna move over to ergo for a little bit it's probably gonna get a lot more difficult and so profitability is probably gonna be gone next day or two uh, next week uh dependent on uh, how fast the difficulty goes down uh, i'm not quite sure of the numbers but it's i think it's gonna probably take a couple days or a week and uh, we'll probably see equilibrium against the variables of you know hash rate difficulty and the price of ergo which i think the price of ergo has been kind of going up as eip 37 was activated so yeah anyways guys let me know your thoughts i'll see you on the next video have a good one and peace out